Hello, and welcome to Indie Cigar Review. Tonight I'm going to be reviewing the EXO edition of the Kirka Crest. This is a 6x60 cigar with a 9 year aged Connecticut broadleaf Maduro wrapped hugging Cuban long seed filler. I'm sure there's also a binder and other things happen to do with that. But to be truthful, I don't know what they are. I don't want to give you wrong information. So I will post that in the description at the end of the video. So, first things first. The XO for a 5-pack is $50. For a box is 267 on most sites for $10 or for 10 cigars. But on Scars International, they are $89.95. So, either way, fairly pricey stick. I want you to look at this. This is after a touch-up. The rather severe ones you can see with that black and dash. And it's not quite evident right, right here, but um, the cap literally fell off. Now, I used a punch cut, which if you know what a punch cut is, as I'm sure you do, is you just punch a little hole at the bottom of the cigar, and it pierces through the cap, and it's just supposed to create a nice, even, enjoyable draw while maintaining a lot of the flavor of that cap itself, which I happen to personally enjoy. It maintains the construction of the cap almost flawlessly every single time. Well, this time, I punched it, I draw it. I took about two or three draws from it. I was intending to start the re review, and then it came off in my mouth. That's some pretty bad construction. Now, I did buy a five-pack of these. It's a fairly high-priced cigar, highly rated cigar. So I will definitely be smoking more of these in the future, as well as reviewing more. At least one more to give it one more solid shot. I'll also be reviewing the Gurkha Beast again. I'll do that tomorrow and hope for a much better experience. As my first one was quite terrible. But yes, construction so far should be noted. As you can see, the wrapper is starting to come off a little bit. I don't know if I can focus in on it. There you go, right there. So I'm having to hold the end a lot to maintain the flavors and everything else. And even so, I know they are shifting because of the it fall, it's falling apart. There's no other way to put it. But on the plus side, even despite this issue, it does still have some very pleasant flavors. A very nice peppered spice tobacco. No real sweetness to speak of. No true transitions yet. But a very enjoyable spiced peppered tobacco that does, does have that Gurkha earthy finish to it that I happen to personally really enjoy the Gurkha cigars. Beautiful label or band as you would put it. Despite the construction issues, the cigar is actually looks quite nicely. It's not terribly perfect. It isn't perfect. You guys, you can see there are imperfections and veins and such, but um, not a problem either. Yes, very good flavor. So we're already into the first third. I will come back to you at the second or the halfway point with my first true update. So far, as I had said before, just a very nice spiced and peppered tobacco with a bit of an earthy Gurkha type finish. So, so far this is quite pleasant despite the issues. I will speak to you shortly. Second third of the Gurkha Crest in XO edition. Taking on a woodsy, not quite cedar, but definitely has that like woodsy tone to it. 
minor sweetness, not in terms of like a chocolate or anything like that, just a very minor sweetness on the finish. Last a while too. Almost all the way into the next draw. It's just now starting to fade out. So far, I'd say it's a higher end of a mild. Definitely not full bodied, no strength to it. <laughs> no, none of that good old buzz or anything else that I personally happen to enjoy, but. I also enjoy some good flavor and solid performance, which this cigar, well, performance-wise, it's not doing so well. But um, flavor-wise, it's very pleasant. Makes me definitely want to smoke some more. I'm enjoying the cigar greatly so far. So we are so far at 17 minutes. Still have a decent chunk to go. I have had to touch it up twice, but again, this could just be a problem with this one cigar. Oh, sorry, I keep having to burp. That's weird. All right, so I will come back to you at, I don't know, I'd probably say the band point or so. I'm probably about right there. Just make it easier. So, yes, this has been, or this is, excuse me, the Gurkha Crest in XO 6x60. And I shall speak to you shortly. Alright, so we are down to almost the band point. Flavors have transitioned into a minor sweetness. As I said before, there was a sweetness to it, but now it's taken on a... I don't know. Let's see if I can describe it. It's kind of difficult to explain. Almost like a sweetened nut taste to it. Um, almost like a macaroon, actually. Very interesting. Now that I actually th think about that and really put it to words. Yeah, it's like a macaroon taste to it. It's very faint. It is still definitely a cigar. There is still tobacco on the forefront of the palate. But there is a bit of a, a macaroon taste. Like that sweetened macaroon. Good. It is transitioning to a little bit below a, a, a medium body. It's still mild, just on the much higher end. Yeah, I can still taste that macaroon. So, okay, I will come back to you a little bit halfway into the band point or so. And then once more at the nub of the cigar with my final verdict, my thank you to my new subscribers, as well as my farewell. I shall speak to you shortly. Alright. Second to last update of the Gurkha Crest XO 6x60 cigar. Overall, it's been very enjoyable. However, that the last draw was frankly terrible. Strength, um, a higher end of a medium, but it's not really the problem. Very ash tasting. Flavor almost completely washed out. Just gone. The, uh, by the ash is very, very warm. All the way down to this point. And then below is very, very hard. given in about 20 seconds so I'm going to draw again and see if it's improved on any no it is not it should also be noted that the construction issues were not just on the cap itself because midway through it started to unravel severely So, construction-wise, definitely leave something to be desired, but again, I will smoke another one. 
It was a very, very enjoyable cigar at first, but then it just went downhill. It literally went from being a, a very pleasant, very enjoyable cigar that I was really, really liking one draw, and then the next to being absolutely terrible. So, uh, if you enjoy your cigars to be pleasant to the end, then this is, would be your end. For the purpose of the, of the review only, I will smoke it down to the nub. Uh, and I'm not looking forward to it, but I'll do it. So, we are currently at 57 minutes. I estimate about maybe an hour and 15, hour 20 tops. And I will come back to you at the nub. I'm really not looking forward to this. Alright, I shall speak to you shortly. So, down to the nub of the Gurkha Crest XO 6x60. Tobacco in the mouth, a little bit lightheaded actually. It uh, hit a pretty high end of the full strength towards the nub, which is personally how I like them all the way through, but it's a nice little finish to have that little euphoric factor when you're kind of just almost giggly because your brain's kind of go into happy places but um flavor wise just terrible <laughs> I cannot say that enough the nub of that cigar is the worst I have ever had by such a huge margin it's not funny <laughs> oh god I'm not looking forward to smoking the next one for the second opinion review because if it's like that uh, I'm not looking forward to it. Either way, though, up until the nub, very enjoyable cigar, different transitions, mild body transition slowly to a medium. Very enjoyable. I was very surprised with it. Uh, construction left something to, to be desired for sure. A lot of problems with it. The cap came off in my mouth. The wrapper came undone. I think there's like seven or eight touch-ups to it, but... Flavor somehow still maintain something pleasant. So uh, I can't really complain about that, but construction definitely should be noted. I really, really hope that was a dud because the blend was very, very nice. Just, whew, it was a bad cigar for construction. But um, yes, this has been the Gurkha Crest XO 6x60 Cigar. I cannot give this cigar a tobacco infused smile. I can say the blend was nice, the nub was terrible, the construction was bad, but honestly, for the price, I can't say you should go out and buy it, but if you find the deal, it's worth it. I mean, it is a good smoke. I assume when you get one that actually is constructed correctly. But the blend itself is very nice, multiple transitions, very good flavor to it. So this has been Indie Cigar Review. As always, if you enjoyed the video, hit like. If you want to hit subscribe, I will be happy to give you a shout out on the next video. And support you on YouTube, assuming I actually enjoy what you're, well, advertising, I guess. Assuming I approve of the image you project. Not to say I'm a, I don't know. Nazi of YouTube where I'm going to try to censor people. But if I don't personally believe you know what you're talking about and that you are knowledgeable and that your videos are worth seeing, I'm not going to recommend you. I will, however, give you a shout out and say thank you, but as for posting your links on channels, putting you in my uh, featured channel list or my fellow aficionados, as I have claimed it, I, I won't do it. But with that being said, thank you so much for your time. As always, have a great day, whatever you are doing, morning, noon, or night. I hope you're having a wonderful time and doing it. I have a thank you for, I believe it's two viewers. I'm not sure, my memory is terrible, and I kind of feel like I'm stoned right now. Okay, so actually we just have one. Thank you so much to Sibiablo Dave. I'm probably saying your name wrong, and I, I apologize for that. I did take the time to check out, I think it was four or five of your videos. 
uh, mostly his videos are about firearms, knives, uh, random, not necessarily reviews, but more like talks. He seems to be a very likable guy, very knowledgeable. I do recommend you check him out. From what I watched, I enjoyed it. Again, I only watched four or five videos, about maybe 20 minutes worth. So not a lot, but definitely get a pretty good idea. So if you enjoy knives, firearms, simple discussions, um, how-to videos, check him out. He is quite nice in terms of his knowledge. That sounded a little uh, questionable. His videos are quite enjoyable to watch. Again, did go to full body. I am a little out there right now. My eyes are kind of squinted. My cheeks are kind of red. It's I'm feeling good, and it's just from a strong cigar. <laughs> so um, yes, thank you so much for your time, and enjoy the review, or I hope you enjoy the review. There we go. Thank you once again. Have a good night.